Good day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Model Kit Beginner. We have a look today at the British Lorry 3T Allen Jog B type, which uh, probably uh, in order not to pay royalties is some other British Lorry company, which you can tell me in the comment section. Here we go. Who is, what kind of lorry is it? J. Cooper and Sons. Let's have a quick look here. What, uh, what's the scale? 135. Don't have any of those. Here we are. That came out pretty recently. It's a 2020 rebox of a 2019 kit. Um, I also have a bus and all this kind of stuff, always the same kind of frame. Looks very neat, I like it. Uh, at the time recording this video, unfortunately Ukraine was attacked by Russia and is in a war. Let's hope when this video gets posted, this war is over. Um, uh, we, so many art is not doing anything right now and we obviously do wish them all the best and that peace will come soon. But let's have a look what is in the box of the coal wagon. This actually I got from the birthday club, the ISM birthday club, Paul uh, Bertland and the, the boys. And uh, yeah, we buy each other kids to our birthdays and this was one of them. Here we go, very nice uh, decal placement sheet. Here it gives you a pretty good idea of what it is supposed to look like. Here are all your Parts, so you can check them whether they are all on the sprues more of them so many art offices know that they have very detailed kits sometimes can drive you up the wall let's go and get a bit closer so I don't need to lift this up as much right here's the engine look at the detail of the engine I mean that is just amazing stuff here we have a frame which you have to build together now that is quite something. That's a real build kit where you build a lot more than on the normal car kits we are used to, the 24 scale, even the radiator, several parts. So that's quite something. I like that. I really do like that. It gives you lots of time to be at your workbench and just uh, fiddle away at your build. Obviously, with tank builders do very often, so I can see the appeal of that. Then the final assembly is right over here, very, very detailed. And there are different, I'm not quite sure if they have, I don't think they have the decals for these ones here, but anyway, here are different versions you can do, different uh, decals right over here. Those decals here, but well, we will have a look now. Right, the way it comes is that everything is in one big plastic bag. Cutting down on on a plastic trash, I guess. Not a bad thing. I guess uh, some of the windows and stuff will be in an extra bag again as well. So. Uh, Let's have a look. We start with the decals and the windows. Oh, we actually have the Henry transport decals. We have the coal decals. We have the William and Wood. So you have different options. You can do this. Obviously, if you're kind of a weathering kind of guy, the coal one obviously will, uh, will be the one you, you would like to do. Right. Looks very nice. I've worked with mini art decals before. Not a problem. And let's get all this out. We'll get to that in a second. Let's put this all to one side. That out of the way. Right, what do we have in this uh, little envelope? A bit of P 
PE, I would assume, and it is indeed a little bit of PE. The child knows where it goes. Probably some of it on the engine, some of it on the truck itself. Looks very nice. It's one of these self adhesive ones. So cool. Of course, the plastic is not enough detail. Or is it? Well, let's have a look. I'll just take them from the top as they come. Here we have the load bed, side walls, very nice wood uh, structure right over here. So you can make it up very nicely. I think that's part of the back and a little bit of canvas folding over here. So that's pretty neat. Here we go, the back of the cab, the roof of the cab right over here and the side walls of the cab and this looks like a little toolbox or something which would be in or next to or behind the cab. Here's a small one with some smaller parts. That's as much as I'm prepared to say about that. Then we have two of these here which have the wheels and uh, part of the brake system I would assume which all looks very clean. I just want to say that here yeah, on the fenders, all looks very, very clean indeed. As I say, we have two of those. Here's the second one. Then we have two of these, which is another box of sorts, very small parts right over here, switches or other parts of sorts. And then uh, this one, which might look like a suspension part. And again, it's a problem if you put everything into one plastic bag, things get hooked up. Uh, let me just try to unravel this here first without damaging anything. That would be nice if we could do that. Here we go, we managed. Right, this one we had a look at right now, two of those. Then we have this sprue right over here. Lots of smaller suspension and other parts right over here. Here's a steering wheel. Little bit of a pulley assembly. Then we have smaller parts over here. As we are used to from Mini Art, lots of lots of small parts. As I say, scale is 135 to fit in with their military program. And this is obviously part of the frame. And uh, part of the drivetrain here at the bottom, engine. Uh, radiator, I would assume. And that's obviously part of the cabin here. And lots of other small parts, which you can obviously have a look at so that is quite something it is a usual mini art kit which is very very detailed they are not fooling around as when it comes to detail they never have been they have a, a lid of a, a soft plastic they always do so you need to be careful when you assemble that but apart from that there are lovely lovely kits and this one is no exception it is the british three-ton lorry b-type in one two thirty five and uh, I hope you like the review and you, you like the kit because I do certainly do. You guys have a, yourself a lovely day and greetings from Cape Town. Cheers.